with the return of, of more normalcy, how are we seeing that affect the extracurriculars now? Yeah, it's, you know, extracurriculars, as I mentioned earlier, have always been uh, based on voluntary, you know, uh, from staff and, and uh, we get a lot of community members who come in and, and volunteer as well. You know, we have custodians volunteering their time. So we, you know, we're very thankful and we've got a great reputation of people giving it their all. So if people are, are capable and able to devote the time and do the things uh, to keep their life in balance with work-life balance, they're going to do it. And we know that they enjoy it and we're super appreciative of it. So we expect that many, if not all of those activities will continue. But again, it's, it's voluntary and we respect people's rights to choose to do those things uh, when, it, when they can. And I think what we saw in the pandemic, James, was it was stressful for a lot of people, including staff, to manage, you know, their home lives, the illnesses, and try to volunteer and all those things. It was it was a challenge. But as we return to more of that normalcy, we expect that uh, we'll get back into a full fledge of those things, and we expect that for the fall. Uh, let's talk about any kind of new programs, focuses, courses, education changes that are coming. I know this is a <laughs> continual, evolving beast of the education system. Yeah. Uh, any focuses right now with that, Wes? Yeah, I, for sure. And I, I mean, I could probably speak an hour about those, but I won't do that to you, James. I think there are a lot of great things happening. We had um, an infusion of funding from the ministry on our tutoring, which will con continue into the fall. We had tutoring in the spring and over the summer, uh, a number of students took advantage of that, a number of families. So that that's obviously uh, a big part of, you know, keeping the additional supports going. Um, the ministry has been doing a lot of changes and revamping with the curriculum, and I know we've heard a lot about de-streamed curriculum in secondary, and there's additional courses that we're going to be de-streamed, um, and we're ready for that. So uh, we're looking forward to supporting staff around those and making sure students get uh, the best programming. And the last piece, I think, maybe as a highlight is everyone's heard of Right to Read and the Ontario Human Rights Commission report that came out last February we we certainly have been doing a lot of work a lot of research a lot of building team building around how we're going to implement some of these strategies to integrate things that we're already doing in elementary so um, our teams have been working over the summer we had our administrators in last week preparing for things like this um, so we're ready to go and we're, we're we take it seriously and we're uh, instruction and, and student achievement is our main focus so uh, we'll be ready to go on those items. And there's many more, but I'll leave it at that. Uh, let's talk about final messaging for parents. Wes, I know there's always one thing on your mind you want to get across, especially the new school year coming. What is that? Yeah, I think it's very similar to last year, James. I think to reassure families that we still have safety, health and safety as a priority for staff and students. We want people to be well and be here at, at schools, working and, and learning. I think that's a, piece, a really important piece. I mean, you've heard me say this before, we're not perfect. And, and when we haven't done something uh, right or the way we should, we, we correct it and we, we get back to doing the things we need to do. So we're constantly learning too. Um, but I think overall, I can feel a confidence in our system. And I have confidence in our staff and, our, and, our, and our, our people that are doing the job in schools and supporting our facilities and all the other things. And that's important for families to, to have confidence in us if they do. Um, then their children are going to be successful and they'll be happier. So I think, you know, we're going to work extremely hard to gain that confidence and keep that confidence. And that's an important part for me as, as director.